Hi everyone, Wendy here, the Crafty Coach with Creative Expressions. I did another group swap and we were making tape and it's supposed to be handmade tape that we used either out of masking tape or the paper tape like here's paper tape from the dollar store and then this is actually fabric tape in the first aid aisle which I haven't used yet so I don't know how that turns out but I've just used uh, masking or yeah masking tape and this was some of the tapes I made. I really like this bottom one. I used spray inks and then rubber stamps. That one I used spray inks, rubber stamps. This one I used paint and watered it down. And this was another one using acrylic paints. This I used spray inks and this one took forever to dry and I really liked how this looked but it just took forever to dry and this one I used the background with some pearl essence type watercolor paints so there's a, like a slight shimmer. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. And then just some rubber stamps, some witch's hat for Halloween. So I'm going to be mailing these off tomorrow to my swap partners. And what I did, I had the masking tape on wax paper because that was how they said to do it. And I found my masking tape stuck to it. And I used the smaller, this um, size, and it stuck to the wax paper. So I thought I would try again using the nonstick craft mat. And then if you're going to store them, store them on the wax paper where you can fold them up and store them easily. And. I am stuck on these three colors right now. Purple, orange, and black for Halloween. Just seems like the perfect color. I don't think you would use these colors normally together except at Halloween. So I am just going to quickly add some color and I'm using my favorite um, baby wipe to add the color and don't worry about the edges being all funky it's supposed to have the effect of washi tape unless you want to cut it and make it so it looks perfect I love that shabby look of things not being perfect, which is why I ripped it. You can do whatever you choose. So I'm just getting some quick color down for my background. Now it's not sticking, so we won't have a problem with that sticking in the end. And then if you're going to glue it onto a page and it's lost the stickiness, I would use some kind of a gel medium or matte medium to, or you know, Mod Podge type thing to get the tape to re-stick itself. Don't worry if it comes up. So we got the background and I'm not sure 
what I'm doing. I just thought I would take different texturing tools, and this is an old fashioned uh, I remember my grandmother used this when she was making bread to knead it or to cut it up of some sort. I don't know the technical name of it. But I found it at a thrift store and thought, well, that would be a great tool to put some, put down some texture for art. And it makes fun, different impressions. Wanted something else, not sure what. I have a huge little box here of texturing items. And now I'm going to use a toilet paper roll. So just when you think you go through toilet paper and you're Curious what you can do besides throw it in the trash. Use it for texture and adding layers. I'm just putting these down randomly and I do like to have things off the edge so that it doesn't really matter if there's a pattern or not. Okay. And I think it needs some white. And put a little bit of white down. And this one, I'm going to use the end of a paintbrush. So you can see this can be done really quickly. What can you do with this once you're done? Well, you can use it in an art journal page. You can put it in as a layering for mixed media or a canvas. You could, if you're sending happy mail to a friend or swap partners, you can tape the envelope up with this. I don't know what would you do with it if you made some of this tape what would you want to do with it I'd love to hear what you would do if you want to leave me a comment and tell me how you would use this tape please feel free to leave me a comment and I'm thinking also I have gone over 50 subscribers on my YouTube channel and I am trying to think of a little contest or a giveaway to do. And if you like my page and leave a comment, what do you think? What if I made you some of this tape? Would you like this? Could you use this somewhere in one of your art pieces? Because I'm thinking I could do something and do some kind of a giveaway. I don't know. Would you like this? I don't know what you would like, so 
leave me a message. Tell me what you think. If you're thinking this is kind of cool, not cool, well, I hope someone just leaves nice comments, but you know, we all have our different opinions and what we like and don't like. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants right now. Not sure what I'm doing, but I want to do some kind of giveaway now that I've gone over 50 subscribers. So I would like you to keep subscribing, keep liking my videos. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. If you like this tape, how would you use this tape in your art pieces? And it's not really flicking as easily. And I like the splatters, but it's not splattering the way I want it to. There we go. Okay. So that's what I have so far. Let me know what you think. Do you like this or not? Please subscribe. Please like my channel. And if you leave me a comment um, and I choose you, if this is my giveaway, I'm not sure if this is my giveaway. I'm not sure how to do a giveaway, but let me know what you think. All right. Remember, find the gratitudes and the joys of friendship, and have a great evening. Bye-bye, guys.